seemed like it really was a group for, for us, like for, for the members to come and chat. Also Nick's character also um, came through, it comes through on the websites and um, if you hopefully, uh, also I'd also listen to him on YouTube, so the personality of the organiser came through, it just, it just seemed really cool. If you're a regular, you'll, you'll probably just talk about like what you've, what, the recent things that have happened in that month, um, related to Abraham or Law of Attraction or something hopefully special that's happened. So everybody gets down and just tells their story. Um, for, the, for the people who were maybe there for the first time, they, they might talk about how they discovered it, um, what stage they're at, why they're there. But what we like about Nick's group is that he encourages you to speak and he encourages you to explain. Even shy people go in there and feel like they can talk really openly about stuff. And I love what everybody, you know, everybody has a story to bring and it's just nice to hear it and feel, you know, yeah, like, even if you're, in, if you're feeling a bit down and then you go and you hear about somebody manifesting and sort of it, it gives you a boost and so you come out there feeling really good. I get so excited when I hear other stories. I mean, I love sharing mine as well, you know, but it's just so fun. I've heard so many mind-boggling stories of miracles. I like about Nick's group is, um, well, the energy. Um, what I like about Nick's group is uh, the stories that people tell. We are like a unity. Even though it could be people that just met each other for the first time. And, it, uh, and then after the group, it's just uh, such a thing of euphoria. And uh, you feel the source energy that is actually present in that room. And that is something amazing because the source energy is everywhere. But when you go to Nick's group, it's sort of guaranteed <laughs> that you're gonna feel it and there is nothing that feels better. The reason I love doing processes is because the days on which you do a process, life is incredible. It's like colourful, joyful, exciting, just good. It's good to be alive. Another good one is the focus And then wheel. in the middle you, you write again the opposite outcome, the perfect solution. So I get on really well with my box in a very simplistic way. And then you write in theory about 12 spokes off the wheel and then you write down examples of when you did in, indeed get on with your boss or like him as a person. And if you've got to really stretch your brain and say, well, you know, three years ago he bought me a sandwich, that's something and it gets you on the wheel. Um, and you've got to write believable statements where you get thrown off, blah, blah, blah. That's good process. Actually, I didn't use the focus wheel a lot. Um, I knew about it, but I, I, I didn't really, you know, use it a lot. But after Nick's group, I started using focus wheels much more and mainly because I am so often out of focus and the way that he's been teaching focus wheels in different ways has really helped me refocus and now it is one of my favorite processes especially when I feel I am really out of alignment because I think there are a few videos on YouTube and actually they are not as simple as the way that Nick teaches it um, so actually I've started using the focus wheel even when I have business meetings with my business partners. So, and we, and I, what I've seen is, is that when I work in that way with my business partners, that our meetings are so much more productive, like things that sometimes would get done maybe in a week, we would do in like an afternoon. And I think there's some kind of magic around it, around like, Focus wheel is uh, the way that Nick t taught it to me and the way that I started applying it in my, in my collaboration with other people. It just aligns people. It just puts you straight in alignment and without the chatter, you know. Um, so yeah, it, I would really recommend um, to work with Nick uh, uh, doing you know, a simple process as the focus wheel. There are so many things in my life now to be happy. If I focus on those things, then life will be good. The reason I'm passionate about it is because I know it works. I know it works and I know that other people know it works. You can feel it in the group, in Nick's group when you're there. You can feel the people, they get all fired up and they're very excited about it. And as soon as you say something that, that resonates with them, they're all excited. So anybody who's watching this um, video, 
you know, find out, find out all you can, and if it works for you, you know, what's the point of, what's the harm in trying it? Give it a go. If it works, what have you lost? And if it doesn't work, well, maybe you feel a bit happier anyway. I was looking around the streets and remembering a few things from my past about how angry I used to be. I was such an angry man. Now I get up in the morning, I open my curtains, I look out and I think, what an amazing city. How much diversity is there? Look at those clouds, look at these people. What a great place to live. It's, it's just, I'm a completely different person. I'm a completely different person and, and, and I have a choice and I can stay the different person and carry on growing or not and I choose, I choose life.